hey this is for you all your owner operators out there if you uh, want to start like I did with no experience whatsoever or rather you're a seasoned vet and uh, you're just scared but you've been really thinking about taking that next step to becoming your own boss hey guys girls uh, welcome to the channel uh, today I want to talk to you about an app that Apex Capital Corporation has out. I use them for factoring. A uh, little disclaimer, they don't pay me to talk about them. I don't have any kind of incentive set up with them. And this video is not sponsored by them at all. So this is going to be strictly from my heart and from my mind, the knowledge I have by using their company, their app. And this is like a user review slash uh, tutorial how to use their app, how to set up... Uh, yourself to get paid, um, how to submit the invoices, and how to uh, basically fund those invoices. So I'm gonna walk you through the app, how easy and simple it is to uh, get paid through them, and what do I do with the app, and how do I get paid. So uh, this is basically for all your owner operators out there. Uh, if you have no experience like I did, just started from the gun with no experience whatsoever, or whether you're a seasoned vet and uh, you're just ready to grab the horse by the rein, so to speak, and be your own boss. A lot of people I talk to about uh, starting their own trucking or they say, hey man, I don't know how you did it. You know, uh, you took a big risk and you know, I'm scared. So the two main reasons I hear is people having to submit a lot of invoices and also how they're gonna get paid. So I'm here today to give you a little tutorial breakdown, uh, try to make it simple for you. Join me now for a little tutorial about Apex Capital Corporation app. Uh, it's literally at your fingertips and how easy it is to use the app and how simple it is. And it's headache free to create invoices and to get paid fast. So I have a fast scanner app I use to take uh, pictures of the invoices. You don't have to do this. I just do this as an extra step just to have a file saved and my scanner app in case I have to reference back to it. But I just take a picture of the invoice. So let's suppose this is the invoice. I take a picture of it and then I screenshot it after I crop it out and save it to my photos. But you can do this in the uh, Apex app. You can just take direct picture from the Apex app. It's like the same thing. It only gives me a reference if I ever need to go back inside the scanner app. I have a file there. So once you uh, take pictures of all your invoices, uh, rate confirmations, uh, proof of delivery, they all should be in your uh, folder, your uh, gallery. But the next step would to be find your Apex app on your phone. This is some of the trucking apps I use, but go into your Apex Capital app. I use face recognition. It's up to you if you want to do that or not. Here you'll see your reserve account if you have one, your last schedule. But you want to go down to the bottom right screen where it says invoicing, and then you want to create right there, create invoice. So to create an invoice, you just follow the steps. Uh, you go each box to fill in the information. So what I'm doing here is just pulling up a separate screen of my photos that I have the invoices already saved that we did earlier. So you can just go back and forth between your photos and the Apex Capital um, app in order to input the information in all the boxes. And then here you put in the customer's name or MC number. You can just type in their name like so, or you can put their uh, MC number and it'll pop up if you don't know which one to select. Then you put in the amount, so you can go back and forth, put here in this case, it's uh, I think $1,130, so we'll put in here 1130 Then the next step is the images. So from here, if you press the plus button, I can insert the images that I already have saved in my phone from the screenshots we did earlier from the scanner app. But you have the option once you press the plus symbol, you can upload from your phone or you can take pictures directly. So if you uh, opt to take pictures directly, you would just do the same thing here. It would pull up and you take a picture and then you would crop it out. So you would do this process for all the paperwork you have, whether you have multiple stops, um, proof of delivery, rate confirmations. And also, I guess I should have mentioned when we were putting the price for the invoice, the rate con was 1130. So if you would have had any kind of lumper, you could just press the plus button there where the uh, rate you put 1130, you can put uh, lumper receipt or 
any other option you have there. You can, you know, add anything you had to pay for that you're going to get reimbursed for um, back into your account. So once you did all that for the paperwork, you can see here, you can always click on there and see all the images back again. And then, you know, once you get done with that, you have to put, you know, where did you drop off? What date you dropped off? Where you picked up? What uh, date you picked up? And uh, you just follow the steps. So you can put the zip code directly or you can just type in the city from your phone. So it's up to you whichever way you want to do it. And after that, you have at the bottom uh, more details. If you want to put extra details like truck number, trailer number, driver name. If you have different drivers or, you know, multiple people working for you, whatever, a little bit easier for you to keep track of it. And once you're done, you just press save invoice and then start saving all the files and images uploaded. And you go to the next step. And you can press manage to submit if you want to go ahead and submit it. Otherwise, you can go back like to the home screen. If you're wanting to edit the invoice, you can go and manage invoice and you can pull it back up again. Click on the invoice. And you can edit if you want to add more pictures or whatever. If not, you're ready to submit it. You just click on the box, whichever invoice you want to submit. If you want to submit multiple invoices, then you just pick if you want same day or next day funding. And then you put your funding source, which would be your bank account. Or if you want to do Zelle, and then you just wait for your money. That simple.